So this is our new upbox printer. Uh, cost around three thousand uh, dollars. These are our older XYZ DaVinci printers. They were about seven hundred dollars. So the DaVinci printers um, have a chip system, um, which was problematic for us. Um, the app box doesn't have any chips. Um, you actually weigh the amount of grams of material and you tell the software on the computer how many grams you've got. This one here is actually a cartridge of um, a RepRap Pro printer which I never end up getting going. Um, back here, that's the actual cover. So you can see this, this cartridge here, or this roll is actually bigger than here. That's because it's actually for a um, Dimension Elite printer and it's been taken out of its case. So the cool thing is that you can grab any roll of material and feed it in um, through your feed here. It doesn't have to sit inside. This space is actually made for um, the um, up, uh, up box cartridge. So that will actually fit in there. Um, now, just talk about some other things. The models actually print on these removable plates, which you can be reused. They've got lots of little perforated holes in them. So you can see here, this was actually a raft, that the raft option that I put down first, and the material squeezes through these holes. Uh, later on, I end up choosing um, to print without the raft, and I put a little bit of glue down. Um, the same as in this system here with using glue. And I found that that worked because um, I didn't have to try and take the raft off the model, which made it easier for me. So if I open it up, you can see um, a base printing now with some support material. Uh, it's quite warm in here too, which is very nice. It keeps the heat in and hopefully will prevent the sort of separa separation in or delamination error issues that you get with these kinds of printers. If you print a large volume or a large um, box, you get a lot of splits in the build. Um, smaller ones are not a problem, but bigger ones are. Um, now, I'll just go over here. So, when you enter the amount of material in, you have to know the original weight of the plastic spool, and then you weigh the total weight, and then you get the weight of material. So, for example, that's 87 grams of um, plastic on there. That's actually a spent um, cut, uh, roll of material from the dimension, but there's still a fair bit of material on there, on there, 87 grams, which I think we can use. So I think this system is less wasteful. Um, now here's a lineup of um, the same model that I've been printing. <coughs> this one is printed on the Dimension Elite printer. So you can see it's quite smooth and uh, very precise. This is the one printed on the up box on 0 0.1 uh, resolution. And if you put the two side by side, they look pretty much identical. Now that was made with the up box material. This one I fed in the Dimension Leak material, which is that blue cartridge you can see. And it's on, this is 0 0.2 resolution, so the resolution is a bit coarser. And um, if I put it under this higher magnification, you might better see the lines. You can actually start seeing the lines there. Now, I don't know if my camera is going to pick up on this. It might not. So I apologise for that. Now, it was quite hard separating the raft off here. And you can see I've lost part of the original model. So you can some damage. It was quite hard removing the raft off that one. This one I just gave up. So you can see there's the raft. Very, very hard to separate those two. Um, so then I chose non-raft option. Now you can see here um, I hadn't used any glue. So the corner lifted up. And so that, that's basically a, a failed print job. Um, this is the latest one I've done. I put more glue on so it's printed down nice and square. That's actually 0 0.4 uh, 
uh, resolution. So if I put those two side by side, let's see, I've got to get the right model to compare it to. So you may be able to see the difference in uh, resolution there. You may not. But it's still pretty good. Uh, on the underside there's lots of little dots. Maybe you can see those. That's because it's printed on a perforated board. But that may not be a problem. It's certainly a lot smoother than trying to get this raft material off. So there you go, that's the up box. Uh, so far I'm really, really happy with it. Um, $3,000, it's still a lot cheaper than our Dimension Elite printer which costs $50,000.